Welcome back, Digitees, to the continuation of content here on the channel. If you're not aware, I have been spending the better part of the past month working on a music video that has been released now on the channel. It should be the most recent video before this one. But today, we're taking a look at Thronefall. That's right, it's a continuation back to the game, back to the, you know, content in general on the channel. I thought we'd start out a little bit more calm. Something that is very simple, very straightforward, something that everybody can understand. As a continuation back to content here, I thought y'all might like to kind of chill around and see what's going on. But what is our objective here for today? What is going to be our primary goal? Well, today we have a quest where it wants us to do three separate types of boons that all kind of have to do with damage and also, well, mostly damage. So let's take a look here at the very first one. The Warhorse. The Warhorse is 20% faster and riding over enemies deals 2.25 damage but it also gets upgrades from all other damage upgrades, which is important to note because on our next buff that it wants us to take is Glass Cannon. We deal 80% more damage, but we also have minus 66% health. So 2.25 damage, 80% of that, I'm going to assume is somewhere around the range of like 1.8 to 1.9. So our horse is gonna be doing somewhere around the range of like four to 4.1 damage of running over enemies. However, I don't think that's gonna be all that important. Although that is nice in like running away situations, because we are a glass cannon with minus 66% health, I think it's important that we do the bow and dagger. Try to keep our distance and just hit them as hard as we can. So we do a lot of damage, but we don't want to be up close enough that we get hit. So we may as well use the bow because that's just going to be a lot of extra damage. And the third buff that it wants us to take is all of your research starts with one day of progress already complete and it costs one less gold. So it wants us to go very heavy into the upgrades, trying to make our units stronger and better overall. However, I think as one extra little bit of a challenge to the game to make it a little bit harder, is that we add a mutator and that mutator is no towers packed you can't build any towers but you get 20 percent more points and xp if you win now why is that important well this is a very tower focused kind of almost tower defense centered map you know you're about to see it's a very new map but i have taken a look at it and i can tell that towers are going to be important but when i unlock this i had instantly the video idea but it's also important because it does give us 20 percent more points and xp meaning that we will unlock more of these mutators faster or more in general by getting more points and XP. So we can go ahead and unlock some of these things that we're needed for the other quests. So look forward to that in the future videos. And if you want to see more future videos, again, feel free to comment down below and we do have an entire playlist of other videos just like this. So how about we jump right into it and see exactly what it is that we're getting ourselves into because I'm not going to be entirely, I'm not entirely certain how this is going to go by the fact of not building any towers. If we're looking here at this map, you can see that it is already, you, you can tell immediately that it's very tower centric focused. You have walls, you have these giant ramps, you have gateways where like these gateways here on this ramp on the right side, and you have this ramp here in the center, then you have a ramp here on, I guess, kind of the north side off this left hand side, and all these different avenues in which the attackers can come up. But it is very much so a kind of like hold your ground defensive type of style. But without towers, I'm not so sure how well we're going to do. So obviously, they want us to focus on upgrading almost ourselves and upgrading our units with that in mind so let's go ahead and build the royal forge which upgrades my own character and to start off with minus 40 percent cooldown for the auto attack of my weapon so my main character is only going to need one day of research because one day is already auto complete for us and it'll have a minus 40 percent attack rate base so basically it's going to get a 40 percent plus attack rate is what it's going to be doing so now on the very first night i think i'm going to try to handle the enemies the best that i can but with that in mind, there are shrines around this map. Activates once enough enemies in its close proximity have died. Once activated, it gets two income per night and shoots at enemies, becoming 20% stronger for every other shrine you activate. So I think that is very key right there. For every other shrine we activate, for amount of enemies that we kill in the proximity of that shrine, it'll eventually activate. And the more of them we activate, just more and more damage. So we can really start to stack that in on itself. Just a plethora amount and use the last two gold to go ahead and build ourselves a house let's start the night and see what we have ready for us because we are a glass cannon remember we can't take very much damage but we do have this bow we managed to keep our distance you know I, we did just dodge that arrow there but let's see how much damage do we take if we get hit by an arrow okay i mean one arrow that's not too bad so we can survive maybe like seven to eight arrows before dying but they do typically come in groups so we need to stay focused make sure that we don't just get auto focused completely by like an entire barrage of the bastards <laughs> so we got five uh swordsmen coming from the left hand side i suppose um all right that doesn't seem too terrible i mean should i focus immediately by buying another position in the capital or do I want to go for like another upgrade for myself because we have done it oh I can't get another upgrade I must have to upgrade the keep 
So, you know, let's get the keep. I think it also maybe might make a little bit of gold for us the more we upgrade it. I'm not entirely certain where that could be a buff that we have to choose at the start. So we can get the royal journey for more health or and, and attack damage or every day. Basically, one house levels up automatically for you and get more health. We uh, damage goes back to people. So basically thorns affect 150% HP for myself. So a lot of these are giving me health back, which is great because I am a glass cannon and I have less health. I have minus 66% health. So something that can give like 50% or more back would be pretty nice. 100% attack damage output for my character. And wow, that's a lot. If you meant to use your active ability just as cooldown wears off, the next cooldown is cut in half. Well, I don't really need to use my ability too often seeing as I'm not gonna be up front as much. So I think honestly, just more attack damage and more HP overall is just going to be a good base upgrade for me to hold off these enemies a little bit longer without having to invest into troops too much. However, that is all of my gold immediately. So I'm going to go ahead and start the night. And I'm going to see maybe if I can draw these guys over to the shrot. Excuse me. Did you just dig underground? I, I was going to I was going to like start saying like, how are you guys going to get across the bridge? There's no way and they dig underground. They're little mole swordsmen of the sort. First of all, take a look at how fast I'm firing and apparently I can hit them underground. You know what? I'm not going to question the gods nor their design, but apparently I can hit people underground with my bow and arrow. Now that does appear to be a lot of units coming after me. However, honestly, I'm not too worried. I'm not too like focused on that. I kind of want to go for this upgrade here because again, they cost less and we have reduction of days. So I kind of want to go immediately for Honestly, what do I want? Do I want like range resistance? I feel like there gonna be like a lot of archers in this one. Melee resistance, more range damage in general. I mean, that also applies for your units and your ability. No, for me, my units and my buildings. But it does also apply to me and my general damage. So why don't we go ahead and start off with the ranged attack? It seems I'm becoming kind of hard into my own self and just trying to make my own character a little bit strong. Because I think that's what's really important here for just trying to stay alive and just dish out damage specifically at who I want it to. Let's draw all these guys in towards the castle a little bit further because I want to get them near the shrine. I want to see what happens when we actually start taking these guys out near it. Okay, so yeah, it is building up a meter and my god, my auto fire is just ridiculous. And now the keep is starting to fire at them too. Yeah, I don't really have that much health. Taking a few shots there already from their range is, uh, is a little worrisome, but I should be fine if I just go ahead and stand here and take a few of them. Yeah, it's not that many. Yeah, it's not that many uh, enemies, but I am still getting hurt quite a bit there as I panic. Get a little bit of panic in the voice. There we go. <laughs> you know, it's a little bit of panic in the voice and also just non-stop voice. It's just how we roll. Um, We are going to need some archers. We are getting attacked from three different directions in the north from flying units. Now, what do I want exactly? I kind of... I need crossbowmen. I kind of just want like longbow archers i just kind of want something with like a lot of range i can just like sit far away up on top here and just dish out damage in any direction they have a large range but are quite fragile great pick if you manage to keep it at a safe distance yeah i think that's good so they have a large range but they're they're easy to kill is basically what they're saying like yeah you know what they're not gonna survive long on the battlefield but they'll do the job i'm like all right well <laughs> hire them i suppose and, you know, on top of that, let's go to the other archer range and get it for four gold. Let's do even more longbowmen. Instead of having to upgrade that facility for eight gold and only getting four more, we can just, you know, get this new one for four gold and get four more. So we probably going to lose those front houses early on in this night. So I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of invest into other things in the area. See if I can do something about that. I do have a shrine down here I kind of want to buy. I mean, I will buy simply because, I mean... If I can kill a few enemies down there, like on an easy spawn, that's going to be great just to have a tower directly next to one of their spawns already dishing out damage to the enemy. Um, can I get a shrine up here at the top? I mean, I could, but I don't think it's going to do much. I, I do have four gold left, so can I invest in anything that six? That's not done yet. All right, yeah, no, I'm just going to have to buy two houses and hope that they survive. Chances are they're not going to survive. Let's go ahead and take our longbow archers and keep them up front a little bit. And I'll help them out too. Go ahead and start the night. Is it going to be enough? Because I also think that we need to protect this upgrade facility. I imagine if it gets destroyed, I'm not going to get progress for the upgrade, right? So I need to make sure that actually completes and gets done tonight. And yeah, our longbow are just taking care of these guys like it's nothing. Oh, I didn't realize they were also going to attack from the left-hand side. No, save. Save the house. Save the house. Don't want to lose the income. Yeah, there we go. Auto attack takes out those guys in a single hit. Now that is superb. And the upgrade finishes. Okay. How do I want to do this? I think I kind of want to go for another upgrade. How many knights do we have? It is night five out of 13 there on the left-hand side, as we can see. 
So, what do we want? I, I think I'm going to go ahead and do another upgrade immediately. I don't want melee damage. I think we're going to need ranged resistance. Not going to lie. I think we need, like, ranged resistance overall. But I think damage could be helpful. But I think there seem to be a lot of archers, a lot of ranged enemies in general. So, two days to research that. And because we are already get one day of research, it actually gets done in a single day. So that's superb. Honestly, we have a lot of units coming towards us. I'm going to go ahead and try to upgrade myself again. Like, if I can get another minus 40% cooldown to myself, that is going to be absolutely ridiculous in how fast I'm going to be able to fire. That is in two days of research. So again, it takes one day to complete it. Oh uh, uh, God, that is just going to be, that is going to be perfect for us. Okay. So we have some enemies also spawning down here on the bottom side that I could try to take out early on for that shrine that I was talking about earlier. I don't want to lose the house, you know, or the kids. Please, Rebecca, take me back. I'm sorry. I, I'm talking about that house there. Um, <laughs> I, I don't, this house down here below next to the barracks, I, I don't want to lose that house to the enemy. So I'm going to try to protect it the best that I can. Let's go ahead and just start investing in more income here because I think we're lacking a little bit in general. Uh, let's go ahead and bring these guys around. Honestly, I think they'll be fine. You know, we're supposed to be keeping them back, but I think they'll be fine. Kind of like standing over here in this general area. You know, kind of just holding the ground. They should, they have enough range to hit in all the directions. Let's start the night and get these guys taken care of right next to the shrine. Hopefully, that they don't run away or anything of the sort. Yeah, the longbowmen are already hurting them. The shrine is getting some of those bonuses. Yep. Okay, great. Oh, no. They're about to take out the barracks. Yeah, they managed to get it. I, I think that barracks is just kind of doomed to, to fail in general. It's already right there in the center. It's going to be targeted every single time. But without the barracks, we can't respawn the units, which is the harsh part. So the units that came from that building will no longer respawn when they get taken out. Come on. Yeah, they're all taken out. Beautiful. This shrine here is almost activated. The shrine next to us is a little bit almost activated. We have a lot of units coming. I see siege equipment. I see giants. I see archers. I see a lot happening. So I'm going to go ahead and place my archers there. I kind of want to build a gate here. I will build a gate there. I'm going to build even a shrine here. So I feel like they're going to be coming up to the wall. And I think that might be close enough to activate it. So we already got our upgrade. I can't do another upgrade. So we only get two upgrades, it seems. At least until I upgrade, you know, the, the keep to level 20. Or, you know, not to level 20, to level 2? Level 3? Whatever it is. Yeah, until I spend the gold for that. <laughs> until I spend the gold for that. And it seems the same as for the upgrade as well. So we have more range damage. We have less... Uh, we have more range like speed you know with our auto attack i'm gonna go ahead and get some more archers here in general we do have six gold left over i'm not entirely certain what i want to do with it i guess i can just do something like where i build like ramparts here why not or you know barricades i suppose that they're called we only have one gold left over which is not enough for anything i don't think so let's go ahead and just try to get some early shots in on these guys uh maybe try to get some for this shrine down here yeah, just absolutely decimated. Look at how fast I'm firing my bow. That is ridiculous. Oh, my God. I'm actually just taking those archers out like they're nothing. Holy crap. Come on, activate. Activate for me. I need that shrine to activate for me, please. It, uh, it, the, the, the ogres are too far away. It's not counting. Okay, lock in that target. Yeah, get the catapult. Ooh, almost activated the shrine. No, oh, that is fantastic. Yeah, now I'm just going to sit here and just wail on these guys. We're doing much better than I thought we would have. Oh, no, don't you dare take it out. Oh, you cannibal bastard. <laughs> How did you manage? How did you manage one last rock, huh? You, you just had to get your rocks off. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I said it. I'm calling you out. All right, fine. Let's go ahead and get this keep upgrade now. Let's see what our last upgrade option is. So we can get more health and more attack damage. Units move 60% faster while I command them. Units can attack while you command them. 30% attack damage for my character. So what if I just like roamed around with a band of archers that, and they fired at the same time? So that'd be kind of fun. That'd be kind of nice. I can just roam around with a little posse of just like archers. Uh, the upgrade cost of walls and towers get reduced by one every turn. I don't think that really matters. We don't have many walls to really worry about. And we have no towers to. If you're locked on a target, that target receives 50% more damage from all sources. Ooh, 75% HP for my character. I kind of like the idea of units being able to just kind of stick around me like a posse of archers and then being able to attack while they're with me. Plus I get 30% more attack damage. I could go for the 75% attack damage output for my character. That seems nice, but you know, overall, I think I'm gonna be getting more damage output by just having, you know, units with me that can fire off, you know, archer like in arrows. It, it just seems a little bit more effective. So if I do something like this, yeah, now they stay with me. Okay, let's, let's start the night. Let's see how well this goes. I want to keep them with me i do more damage take out these take out all these uh witches 
and I don't know who are you. Why why is there like one bowman? I guess that got lost. He got he got left behind and is going down below to try to face these guys alone. I mean, hey, they can fire now. I can just go back and forth, just kind of what do you call it? Juggle the enemies here a little bit. Move back, get some shots off, get them. Yeah, they can fire while they're moving. They keep with me. They're focusing on the front side. Now let's get all these guys on the back side. Yeah, okay, got all the witches. They're being stopped by the barricade. Get close enough to save this building over here and take out some of these guys. Yeah, get those shots off. Beautiful. They're out. And then move back over here. Oh, this is working out great. Okay, let's just go ahead and try to take out these wizards before they destroy any of the buildings. We don't want to lose score because, you know what, the score does matter a little bit in the sense that, you know, we get more XP. And more XP, again, is like more mutators and stuff like that. So the things that can really assist us. I'm kind of staying back a little bit further. See if I can get that shrine activated because there are quite a few enemies there. Come on, activate it. Activate it. Yes, we have a shrine activated. Oh, no, God. I didn't realize we were being attacked so much from behind. Oh, crap. <laughs> I was focusing too much on the shrine, and I wasn't paying attention to the houses behind us. Why didn't you guys say anything? Why didn't you comment down below and let me know that I'm being hit? Oh, God. If you have any tips, feel free to let me know down below on how you can play this game better. <laughs> You know, I think the game is only like 10 bucks on Steam, so feel free to check it out and buy it for yourself. You know, things are always on sale as well. So, you know, you can always just try to wait for like a Steam like spring sale and, you know, the, the season's coming up. I mean, there'll probably be like a big sale for it, I'd imagine. So, we can get another upgrade. I'm going to go for another upgrade and I want to go for even faster attack speed. I want to see how fast I can get this thing going. Another minus 40% to it. And on top of that, ooh, I do not have enough gold to actually get an upgrade for the units. But, you know, we should have barracks around here. We should be able to get... That's right. Here it is. We should be able to get some swordsmen, I think, on top of all this. Do I want swordsmen? I kind of want swordsmen. They have a good defense against range attacks. And, again, we've been having lots of range attacks, it seems. So, go ahead and try, try to gather these guys up. Can my fingers work with me here? Come on, collect it up. Collect it up. There we go. Move them on over here. Where is the other barracks? I know that there are other spots to run. Yeah, okay, here it is. No, wait, no, that is a hero spot. Do I want a hero? I kind of want a hero. Okay, hang on. So what, what hero choices do we have again? We have the choice for the golem, which is going to be lots of health and sturdy and melee. Can't hit air units. We have a support mage. Heals, you know, heals me, my ally units, range, absorb magical projectiles in a wide radius. Ooh, what if I kept him along with me too? Can I keep him in my posse? Just keep like that guy around and just block, you know, projectiles for like my, my melee units up front or a flying unit that deals splash damage to ground and airborne enemies. Ooh, okay. I mean, I kind of want the support mage. I don't know if this is gonna be a good decision. It may not be, but I mean, uh, the fire wing I think would be really good though too because splash damage to ground and airborne enemies and I know that we can upgrade them several times so if I got a couple of them I know that their health is a little low and they are not all that good in comparison but I think in this instance where we have several walls and like multiple fronts I think it'll be a good choice to kind of just get that done in now and just try to get maybe you know just try to see if i can upgrade them and that's going to instantly take out the hero lobby though yeah that is taken out right away oh god oh god they're all coming for me i did manage to activate the shrine down there though it is firing off and oh my god okay my archers managed to move up front for some reason and i am dead i didn't even realize i was being hit my god and i am down <laughs> i am down okay revive myself beautiful come on come on there we go Ah, leave me alone with the arrows. They're chasing me. Ow. <laughs> They're chasing me. No. <laughs> try to just try to stay out of range of them. It is not really working. I'm just going to charge them up. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. We might need some range defense. First of all, Longbowman, you were supposed to stay up here. You were not supposed to come down. That is my bad for not holding down the button to keep you there in that position. Secondly, we need to go ahead and take this next upgrade. And I think we need, I think we need range resistance. I, I think that's going to be, I mean, do we want, I mean, a damage, damage. I mean, we could be doing a lot of damage, but our units are also dying fast to all the stuff. So it's a, let, let's, let, how many days do we have left? It is 913. So we can go ahead and do this now. We, if we have enough gold, I think we can get another upgrade. So let's go ahead and take a range attack. So we do more damage overall, because I think our biggest win here is just going to be our ranged ability because it I mean. If we, if we can just dish out as much damage as we can while up here, I think that's going to be super important. Just trying to keep our units alive, even down here. So let's go ahead and get more units. I'm going to do more knights just for the capability of being able to just be strong against more ranged units. Because we do have 
a couple of bombs coming in, but also a lot of archers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take my hero and I guess just kind of like put him back here. So maybe he just gets delayed. What do we have? Over Ooh, we have another hero slot. Okay. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now I kind of want the support mage. Now we have that capability. I have two gold left. So before I take you support mage, let's go ahead and buy this house for a little bit more income. Take the support mage. Yeah, stay with me. You get 66% mood speed. He's just kind of just like running around along with me. Oh, that is beautiful. So if I just stay around here, he should go to block projectiles and maybe heal the guys that get hit by a bomb. Although I don't know if there's gonna be any save in the bomb. Honestly, like that, that's probably just gonna kill them straight up. Oh, oh, they're alive. They're alive. He is healing them. He's healing multiples of them. Oh, okay. They, they are all dead now though. <laughs> they are now all dead. Uh, so they did not survive very long and the mage is already dead too. That is concerning. So he didn't necessarily do a whole lot. I think it might almost be better to keep the mage up here at the top to block projectiles away from our archers since our archers are our primary source of like, you know, doing damage right now. So if we can go ahead and protect the archers and heal them up, I think that might be a little bit better than trying to protect our, our swordsmen down below. I thought they would survive a little bit longer, but I, I guess... I guess I was very, very wrong. <laughs> Our archers are going down. We need to save the armory. There we go. So we don't lose that upgrade capability. Get everybody back. Uh, we are still night 10 out of 13. So we have more than enough time to start just upgrading everything. Right, so let's go to another just... archery range. Get this completed I don't want them to like hold their ground yeah, almost all the at enemies the coming gate. In. Go ahead and sit here. You know, funny hold enough, your I ground. Kind of sit, I, I kind of want to break through after all the here. You don't have enough for that on the front line. You have enough for this gate. It's not going to last long. But let's start the night and see what we have in store for us. And see if our plan for kind of just keeping our, you know, melee units standing there is going to be a good idea. I need to get these guys back, please, and thank you, because they appear to be trying to run away from me because they're not held in place as such. I can even tell my hero to stay in place. Okay, that's not too bad. Now, I don't think they have... Oh, they have a few archers coming in from the backside. Let's see how well our support mage does his job. Is he going to be able to actually block that? No, I mean, he doesn't seem to be blocking them. He's trying to block some of them, I think. No. I could have swore it said he could block incoming projectiles in a wide area. He does not appear to be doing that. Is there like a way to like activate him, I suppose? Does he need to be like closer up or maybe be in the direction, like of the path of being hit? Do, do I want to make him in the front? Because I don't want to lose my wizard like immediately, but I might kind of have to. We have a lot of them coming in here from behind. So I'm going to go ahead and collect all these guys and just... Put them right there. I'm not going to lock them in. They can do whatever they want, whenever they want, because they're strong, independent archers, and they do what they want. I'm going to go ahead and try to upgrade. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade the other building here. I'll go ahead and get those guys in a moment, because I also want to upgrade our hero. Yeah, there we go. We still need 18 gold, though, for that. That is ridiculous. Well, I know that we can get a whole bunch of gold from the mine, right? So I think... Gold mines initially generate a high income that decreases over time, minus one per day. But I think they give you like five immediately. So I think you kind of get your gold back almost immediately. So it might be kind of nice just for a little bit of a quick investment there. See if it helps out. I'm going to build some more barricades here. Take these guys. I'm take all of my archers. I'm going to go ahead and just place them right up here and call it good. I think that's simple enough. Nothing's coming from the bottom. Nothing else is coming from the sides. They're all coming in from the top. And just let them take care of that. Yeah, they're just absolutely wrecking it. There is not even a challenge here. Upgrade him to be the final level. I may as well get better walls, better gates, better pizza. Put my hero like right here. He's flying, so he's not going to be really in the way. Upgrade this gatehouse. I can get more swordsmen, right? Yeah, we only have like one upgrade out of that one. Get that double upgraded. I will build it. I will build it and I will try. I will stand over here in the corner and I will try to get it to go off. But we will see what happens because there are a lot of enemies that are coming this way. And my God, look at that fire rate though. Look at that fire rate. I just realized how fast it really is. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Leave me alone, leave me alone. <laughs> oh God, no, 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 no. They're coming in. I want to take care of those siege equipment first. No, <laughs> you bastard. Oh, you bastard. Okay, well, I can kind of just like sit here and just teleport next to them, right? And just take them out. Come on, do it, do it, and then activate my dagger right there. Take him out. Beautiful. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay, uh, there are a lot of enemies all directly around me all of a sudden. I need to, like, run away. Yeah, take a little bit of damage there. That's fine. Come on, come on, come on. Can, can I get the shrine activated? We do have the shrine activated. Beautiful. Now we're talking. Yeah, baby. 
Okay, the wizard is doing a little bit of a job, I suppose. He is healing them up. He is keeping them alive a little bit longer. He is doing kind of his job. I need to go protect this left-hand side because no one else is, is going to need to be leaving their position over here. I'll just go ahead and do it myself. They're getting on behind the wall simply because they can dig under the ground. <laughs> it's not really fair, but hey, whatever. I guess it's warfare. I need to run to the other side, see if I can take out that siege equipment. I don't want to lose my walls and lose even more points on this run. Oh, yeah, we have another wave coming in. Jeez, I thought that was it. Apparently not. I have been vastly mistaken. Why do I still have more units that are not staying completely locked into their position? You need to come over here and hold your ground, please, and also thank you. On top of that, I also see that there's some of these swordsmen that are not in place either. So I'm going to go ahead and just place them here. Because I think if I don't leave them unlocked and they get close then to the gate, they will start auto-marching to the other side. And speaking of which, I need to go ahead and just take out these guys because no one else is over here. Simple as that. There we go. Coming on to, I think, yeah, the final wave. So again, Digities, if you guys are enjoying the content, they're all question marks. Okay. Well, if you guys are enjoying the content, then please, by all means, subscribe to the channel. Feel free to share it around. I'm still a small channel with not a whole lot going on besides, you know, some good old gaming content and genuine attitude and some fun movies and music videos and stuff on the side. You know, a little bit for projects that I like to do. So, you know, hey, if you guys enjoy the content, you know, again, feel free to drop a like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. And I always greatly appreciate it. Any comments you leave down below, you guarantee you, I read all of them. So let's see, what do we have going on here? I am a little afraid on exactly what it is that I'm walking into. So let's go ahead and get the final upgrade for the other swordsman. This is the final night. Now, I remember the last time we had a question mark like this, it meant that a giant fish came out of the water in the middle of a frozen lake and attacked us. Feel free to check out that episode. There'll probably be an info card there in the very top right. I'm pointing to it, but it doesn't matter because you can't see me. <laughs> At least not without the mask on. Um, I mean, I think we have 59 gold left here, right? So what if we build up some of these what do you call it, these mills and build them the explodey kind the explosive trap the mill explodes when it's when destroyed dealing massive damage around itself so if i just go ahead and upgrade this several times it's just gonna be a giant bomb right let's start the night and see what happens bring it on what's going on what's going on okay uh oh their their moment okay i want to see that explosive go off oh that explosion basically did absolutely nothing to them that is concerning that they took no damage from that giant bomb okay well that is uh <laughs> that is concerning but i've got my posse of archers stay away stay away keep my archers alive keep my archers alive okay and we have the, the wizard has started to heal all of them beautiful the wizard is doing his job let's start focusing down the wizard is healing my units oh, okay the wizard was a great choice great choice but we have four of these things to handle four Okay, well, there's one taken out. My God, four, and they took out the barracks. So now we don't have any chance of um of respawning units. I have no way of respawning units. I need to keep my archers alive the best that I can. Wizard, please just heal them. Heal them, wizard. I'm gonna stand my ground right here and just hyper focus on that one guy on the left hand side. Come on, come on, take him out, take him out. If we just get down one more of the guys, we can we can do so much better because we don't need all three of them on top of us. That is gonna be near impossible to take out. Come on, yeah, that's right. Come over to my side. Go over to my side. Take him out. Take him out. Hyper focus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The other guy's distracted. Focus on this guy before he gets over. Okay. Uh, wizard, keep on healing. Wizard, do your job. Yes. We are doing it. We are doing it. Oh my God. Okay. I have him locked on as well. I'm going to focus in on that high health guy because I think our, I think our swordsmen have the other unit just fine. Any ran away to the barricade, slowed him down a little bit. Come on, baby. Oh, and then he just destroys the gatehouse for like no reason. He just, he just didn't like his gatehouse. You know, that's fine. That's fair. I'm cool. I get it. I get it. Come on. Take them out. Come on. Chase them down. You're not getting underground this time. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now that. Now that is a nice victory. You don't need no towers to, to win Helm's Deep. High score, baby. 52, 60, 55, 65. No, it's going even higher. It's going even higher. No restarts. Mutator bonus. Gold bonus. Base score. What do we have here? No units packed. You can't build any units, but you get 40% more points and XP if you win. Well, hey, that might be a video idea right there. If you guys want to see a run where we just don't build any units, do nothing but towers, try to defend the best we can in Helm's Deep without, you know, trying to defend itself with any, like, archers or swords or anything out there, I wonder if it'll allow the heroes. I don't know. 
However, that should be an interesting kind of run. So yeah, leave a comment down below if you want to see something like that. That seems pretty interesting that I, I might like try doing. Uh, what else do we have? Do we upgrade again? Do we upgrade again? Yes, we do. The Shadow Codex, passive curses an enemy in close proximity and deals damage to every cursed target at once. Okay. Removes the curse from all targets, dealing a big blast of damage to all of them. Hang on, wait. Say, passive curses an enemy in close proximity and deals damage to every cursed target at once. Okay. So it's doing it's dealing DPS to every like cursed enemy near them that they just kind of passively just like hits some with. But active removes the curse from all targets, dealing a big blast of damage to all of them. Okay, so that's when I actually use my ability. That seems interesting we could try that i suppose it seems kind of, it's like a new weapon i suppose so we have the lizard rider you permanently unlocked a new unit type for your hero's quarters the lizard rider is a fast archer unit that focuses on important targets like low health enemies flying monsters or enemy support units additionally the lizard can perform a melee attack hey, a new unit type for your hero's quarter for my hero's quarter are you unit type for my hero oh so like the heroes like the golems and stuff like that so i can hire myself a bunch of lizard riders Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Now this is starting to look up. I have, I have, I have video ideas. <laughs> so if you guys, in, again, if you enjoy this series, let me know. My God. And we stopped right there. We don't get the next mutator. That is beautiful. Back to the map. We are sitting pretty. That is the brand new map that they've added to the game. So thank you, Digities, for watching the video. It's good to be back. It's good to be back on that grind. I'm not going to be doing daily videos. I think I'm going to be doing like every other video or like every other day videos or maybe every few days kind of videos. I want to put out stuff that I can feel a little bit more proud of or something that I had a little more energy to give into that I felt more connected to while talking to you guys. Something a little bit more forward, you know, and I hope you guys really appreciate and are looking forward to that kind of new era of content. That although the editing may not all be that different, I think it's just how you carry yourself that is going to be changing here on the channel. And I think the music video really says a lot about that in general, too, if you see kind of the story going along with that. So feel free to check that out as well. So I don't know how else to say as Digities, but you know what? If there's one thing that's not going to change, it's the fact that I don't know how to do any of these outros. But there's something that I can always guarantee you. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you and bye bye.